It's that time again. <laughs> Hello class. Hi. Welcome to our fifth video. How are you? Are you feeling okay about coming back to school? You did an excellent job on your last homework. I was very impressed by your English writing. Your writing has gotten better. Your writing has improved since our first video. Good job writing your introductory paragraph. Also, I wanted to mention the baseball survey. <laughs> Only 10 students took the survey. But that is okay. From the survey results, the Lotte Giants are the most popular baseball team in our class. So the Lotte Giants are number one. Now that we have practiced writing your introductory paragraph, we can move on to the next section. Okay, do you remember what our speech is about? Our speech is about What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up. Today, we will learn about the body. The body of the speech. We did the introductory paragraph and now we will do, we will write the body of the speech. The body of the speech is the most important section of the speech. It is also the longest section of the speech. Finally, the body is also it talks about the main point, the main point of the speech. What is our main point? Yes, our main point of our speech is what do you want to be when you grow up? So, in the body of our paragraph, we will talk about this subject. What do you want to be when you grow up? We will answer this question by talking about three main topics. In our body paragraph, we will discuss three main topics. They are number one, what career or job do you want as an adult? These jobs could be professional athlete, policeman, YouTuber, civil servant, teacher, engineer, or game developer. The second main topic is what is your favorite activity or hobby? Activities and hobbies could be drawing, playing an instrument, playing basketball, playing soccer, playing baseball, hiking, playing video games, traveling, reading, watching YouTube videos, or watching streamers, or cooking. Finally, the third main topic is 
What is your favorite school subject? What is your favorite school subject? You mentioned it at the end of your introductory paragraph. Common school subjects are physics, math, Korean, English, Korean history, world history, social studies, chemistry, computer science, technology, physical education, art, your second foreign language, Chinese characters, hanja, and economics. But how do these topics answer the main question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Good question. When people ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? They are asking because they are curious about who you are. They want to learn more about you. And these three questions, what career or job do you want as an adult? What is your favorite activity or hobby? What is your favorite school subject? These three questions tell people more about yourself. These questions tell us about your personality. Your personality is the set of emotional qualities and behaviors that makes a person different from other people. Your personality is your unique characteristics and traits. Your personality, your personality influences your decisions and what you like to do. Some people have a personality that is loud and funny. So they like being with friends and being social. Some people have a personality that is quiet and serious. They enjoy activities alone, like reading or watching TV. Let me show you how answering these three questions can tell you a little about a person. So let's pretend we have an example student. Here is the example student. <laughs> His name is Chris. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, Chris. Okay. Chris has answered his three questions. His dream job, the job that he would like as an adult, is an archaeologist. Arche Archaeologist. Archaeologist. His favorite school subject is history. And a hobby or activity he, en he enjoys is hiking. So when Chris grows up, he wants to become an archaeologist or a historical artifact scientist. His favorite school subject is history and his favorite hobby is hiking. So what does this tell us about Chris's personality? Maybe we can guess that Chris and his personality is, number one, he likes, he loves <laughs> the outdoors. Maybe he enjoys being active. 
and being and doing physical work. He enjoys being active. And finally, maybe he is detail detail oriented. Maybe he is very careful and he does not make mistakes. So, do you see how these three things are similar? how they are connected? These similar traits are what Chris likes. It is common that these three things share uh, similarities. It is common that these three things are similar. For e another example, someone could want to be a musician. Their favorite school subject is, of course, music class. And their favorite hobby or activity is playing guitar. This tells us that this person is artistic and likes music, right? So these three things are similar. They are connected. So we will talk about these three things, your job, your favorite school subject, your favorite hobbies or activities, so people can learn more about you as a whole. Not simply what job you want, this will be a more complete answer. You will talk very thoroughly and completely about yourself. So you can start thinking about these three things. What job you want as an adult, what is your favorite activity or hobby, and what is your favorite school subject. But today, we will review 24, 24 common jobs and their English names. I found a great animated video I think you will like. Please watch it and listen to the song. For homework, complete this worksheet. You can number the answers like this. Like this blank is number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So please complete this worksheet. You can print it out or you can number the answers. So listen to the song and fill in the blanks. Do you want any of these jobs when you grow up? If so, what job do you want? Please, please list three jobs at the bottom of this worksheet. So in summary, please Watch the YouTube video, listen to the song, fill out this worksheet while listening to the song. You can number your answers and then list three jobs you think you would like as an adult. Please list three possibilities of what job you might want to do when you grow up. Please post your homework on EBS, okay? Okay class, great! I can't wait to learn more about you. Thank you for another good class. I will see you in school hopefully very soon. See you then. Bye! Bye.